I love. Hey guys, my name is Jamila. Yeah, welcome to another vlog. Um, so today I'm actually headed to New York. I'm waiting for my lift right now. I'm about to go to Union Station in DC to get on the mega bus. And I'm gonna get there around eight o'clock. My bus leaves around 8.20 or so. Um, I'm pretty sure my friend is gonna beat me there. So my friend Gabby is coming. I'm pretty sure y'all have met Gabby before. Um, Right? I don't know. Am I ashy? I don't know. No friends in the industry. My brothers been my brothers, man. You niggas ain't no kidding me a fact. Whoa. Yeah, you heard about me. Y'all don't know me more than that. Yeah, I know I. Hey, hey, yo. No friends in the industry. My brothers been my brothers, man. You niggas ain't no kidding me a fact. Whoa. I was known for snapping when I jabbed before the app. Stood on everything I said and never took it back. Whoa. Hey guys, so we just made it. Well, we've been here in New York for some hours now, but we just really got like settled in our room. So I'm about to show y'all what it looked like. So when you first come in. On the left, there was a bathroom with a standing shower. The bathrooms were actually the my favorite part of this place. They were to me they were really giving like luxury. And the shower was really nice. Gabby actually used the shower, but yeah, I got the other bathroom, but the shower was everything to me. Then in the hallway, there was a mirror and a table. That's me. Down the hall, there's the living room space. It has a dining room table, a mini kitchenette, two windows, kitchen, coffee table, and a TV. The view, we just had a view of the other rooms. We were on like the 22nd floor, so we couldn't see the bottom. The other view was just like a view of the side roof, I believe. I'm really not sure. That's botched. Don't mind that. That's the other view. And yeah, it was a, it was kind of small, but it was cool because it was just the two of us. And then, yeah, this was a timeshare. Typically, they give you a stove, but we didn't have a stove. But we still got a dishwasher and all the dishes and everything. Then in our room was just a king-size bed, a closet, a TV, same view from the living room, and then we had another full bathroom in there too. So the bathroom in this one actually had a tub and it had gold accents. Um, I did like this bathroom more, but I wish it had the other shower, but I was using this bathroom and Gabby was using the other one, yeah. These bathrooms really made the place feel like it was nice. Otherwise, I'm not even gonna lie to you, it would have just gave regular. But this was the Manhattan Club, so I was a little confused by that. So Niggas let us start if you don't wanna keep it rap. Yeah, you hit us up and now we owe you something back. See, I was young, angel, but these niggas turn me. Guys, you can't see me right now. But I'm on the terrace of my hotel. The security guard at a hotel saw us taking pictures and he was like, do you guys wanna go on the rooftop? Yeah, yeah, get into it. Yeah, I heard some people say they know I'm as my equal. Truth be told, the sun, these niggas be like, don't compete with them. That's about the boy and they gon' say he got the streets with them. Niggas so fancy. Hey y'all. So, it's hot, I'm sweating. But, we're about to go. The lighting in this place is so weird. Hold on. Here we go. So, we're about to go out. So, the first two days, I've been here two days already. This is my second day. I'm really sweating. It's hot in our room. But, um, yeah, the first two days we were here, this is embarrassing. I'm sweating so bad. The first two days we were here, I was working. This is our second day. But I'm off tomorrow and then Friday. So tomorrow is when all the action is happening. But actually the action is starting tonight because I'm off. It's my Friday, period. So yeah, we're going to go to this place called, what's it called? 
Vida Verde. Okay. They have a little 11 o'clock happy hour, um, a late night joint. So we're about to go there. It's 11 o'clock right now. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. Okay, so I got this um this cold shoulder crop sweater from Boohoo. I got these um this skirt from where did I get the skirt from? Fashion Nova, and then I got these boots from Boohoo. Get into the boots. And I also got this bag from Boohoo. I feel like this outfit is giving daytime, but that's okay. That's okay, because I was in the house all day working, so we're gonna make it give nighttime. And I'ma see you when I see you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah brothers, but my brothers, man, you niggas ain't no kidding, that's a fact. Ayy, and I'm like she carry smoke on morning off the track. Ayy, can you let that hoe with me? I put her on the back. You get drizzy on the track, here, put you on the map. Oh. So it's a new day. Did I vlog before we left the house? I think nope. I did. Um, we are on our way to the Museum of Sex. I've never been there before. I'm excited. White shirt, now red, my bloody nose sleeping. Yeah, on your tippy toes creeping. Around like no one knows. Think you're so criminal. Bruises on both my knees for you. Cloud Social. Um, she wants to go. Are we going to Chelsea Market or just Chelsea later? So we're going to Chelsea later, but the place we're going to, I guess it doesn't open to like six. So we're just gonna. Okay. 
I'm about to go grab a drink. So guys, like three days ago, I was mad dehydrated, right? So I told myself, I'm gonna drink more water. So I've been chugging water since I've been here and everywhere I go, my face starts sweating. And I think I just, I'm drinking a little too much water. My body doesn't know what to do with it. So I don't know, it's just pushing it out my pores at this point, but it's only my face sweating. So I don't really know what to do with that, but. hey guys so right now we're in the it's like a lounge or whatever but y'all so we were gonna go after the sex museum we ended up going to this bar we decided to go home charge our phones back to the crib and stuff then we decided we wanted to go to the Chelsea galleries that are only open today, but we stepped outside and it dropped like 15 degrees. Like it's like 30 something degrees outside and we would have to walk a lot to get over there. Like when we get over there, we would have to walk. Like they're not all, the galleries you wanna go to aren't all beside each other. So it's too cold for that. So we decided to go someplace local for dinner. We're about to get some Italian food and then tomorrow, we're gonna go to Brooklyn, so tomorrow we'll have all the activity. Yeah, today was fun. Today was lit. The sex museum is fun. I will say the nipple room, that nipple thing, y'all be making it look huge on social media, and I just wanna know how you be doing that. What angle is that? Because I used to really think that place was like a whole big room. That room is like a little nook in the place. Like, it's tiny. It's really small, but yeah the sex museum was actually really cool and i like that it wasn't just about like the erotic side of sex it also talked about like sexual violence and like the history of like women <laughs> being taken advantage of for their sexual organs they talked about um female genital mutilation now i'm not happy it talked about that but i'm, I'm happy that i was able to learn something there that wasn't just about like penetration <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then they got to that second floor and then they were like, oh shit. Yeah, it was deeper than they thought. Mm -hmm. Cause it was really- it was just gonna be fucking vibrators and shit. Yeah, like it was really about the history of sex and not just like the orgasm. You know what I mean? Good morning. So it's Friday right now. Today's our last day. We're leaving at like seven. Wait, it said go straight. Oh, I mean, we need it on this side, so we need to cross the street anyway. Okay. Oh. You wanna cross down? It's cold. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it's walk. So we're headed to TJ Maxx because I literally broke my suitcase when I got here. Like I overpacked and then I took my suitcase inside the hotel and it had this little ledge at the opening and it clean took my wheel off, cracked my suitcase, put a hole in it. So yeah, I gotta get a new one today. So I'm going to do that first. And then we're going to Brooklyn today. And if we have time, they're shooting a episode of Law & Order SVU in the Upper East Side, so we might swing back over there. I, you feel like we'll have time, right? No. <laughs> no, she says. So I'm feeling this pink one. It's 79 99 so I, that was like my biggest suitcase item in the set. So I need to replace the biggest one. I don't know if that's big enough. How much is this big one here?
This one's $89.99. This is the one I'm looking at right now. It's $89.99. Typically don't go for black suitcases because I feel like they're never like distinguishable at the airport, but <sighs> this one's cool. And I like the hard top, the hard shell ones actually. This is the one I'm gonna get to replace my old faithful. So now we're about to go grab some coffee. I'm gonna go back to the room after that and get my stuff um, packed up so we can go. But I also need to get a shot glass from the I Love New York store. So I should do that while I'm out here too. <sighs> so we ended up at a gift shop. We just left the coffee shop got my coffee and then I got a shot glass oh my gosh can I pick it up I got this one the pink one at the bottom and stuff so I collect shot glasses so everywhere I go I get one they also have a Las Vegas one oh, this is what happened to my suitcase whole wheel fell off I tried to like duct tape it back on, but then we came back in the room and it was just on the ground. So I gave up. So we just made it to Brooklyn and we're about to go get some rainbow bagels. I've always wanted one ever since I was like little. Well, no, I was probably in high school when I first saw it on Instagram. So we're gonna go get some. And I wanted to go, when I was in New York, I wanted to go to that cupcake ATM thing that's in, I think it's in like Times Square or whatever. But y'all, it closed. Sad face. So now I'm about to check out this vintage store. It's also black owned. So let's go, let's see what's in here. makes me really appreciate the thrift stores that I have back home because you know I'd be complaining when Second Avenue or Goodwill raised their prices like two to five percent like if they raised their pants from $5.99 to $7.99 I complain right why I didn't see anything in there that was less than $90 like really puts things into perspective because meanwhile in New York they're robbing everyone and it's also the reason why um, cities are hotter because of the skies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like the concrete. So when I was like, I was a camp counselor for this technology camp. And I like, this was like five, seven years ago. I learned that concrete traps heat. Yeah. So a part of the reason why we have global warming is because like everywhere where there's concrete acts as a hot spot. Yeah. And... 
it basically pushes heat down to the center of the earth something like that so the earth's core keeps heating up it is so much brighter here than it was in manhattan and i know it's because of the skyscrapers and stuff but like i don't know i just wasn't ready for all this sun but i'm loving it so we're headed right now to go see um well we're going to the park to eat first but then we're going to the museum because um me and gabby are really into art and i've been trying to see like some original basquiat paintings I'm excited about this. You know, my family always makes fun of me because when I go places, I be more excited about trying new food than anything else. And they're always like, Jamila, all you think about is eating. And I'm like, <laughs> y'all don't get excited about new food when you yeah. go places. <laughs> Things that you're not gonna get anywhere else. So we made it to the museum. So they literally have one Basquiat piece here, but it's in the part of the museum that they want you to pay like $25 for. It's in the Andy Warhol exhibit. But because they only have one, I don't think I'm gonna do that because they got Andy Warhol pieces in DC. And I've literally never seen a Basquiat in DC. Have you ever seen one in DC? A Basquiat piece? Sorry? Have you ever seen a Basquiat piece in DC? I don't know. I go to so many you know that they copping you all. They cleaning them up with these bitches that hopping. I couldn't fall out with it, bro. Uh, how did it take it? I like it. I cop it. Ain't nobody stopping the ghost. Uh, small lady, daddy, we sitting in the lobby. We just been it out the whole flow. Uh, getting high in the sky, boss. I can see it. Hot spot in this plush dot and it's lit. Screw chop and Gucci sauce. Got them dripping. For the cops, we can't be stopped. Just admit it. Paint the time, and slide committed. Bloodhound, I'm a cold hard cripple. Best part, we got all the vibes with it. Can't stop, you can't catch us over, get it. There's no cap, I'm in a guinea. It's really rap, this ain't a gimme. I have a trap, now I got plenty. I'm in a castle, fucking a genie. I'm out of the castle, she uh, wanna rassle. Uh, I ain't got tackle, drunk on the guinea. Uh, Head to a cider, I had a handle. Uh, I'm about to smack him, smoke on the fanny. I put four twelves in the V12. My bitch trunk, stunned around. She says she smell, I'm doing well when I'm gonna fall. It don't matter, uh, bitch, I'm a shark. I'm not a whale, into my cup. Y'all know whose art collection I paid good money to see? I would pay that bag. I would pay as much as they wanted me to to see Beyonce and Jay-Z's art collection. Cause I just know it's fire. Like, I'll be looking at artists and be like, yeah, Jay-Z has a piece. Beyonce has a piece of this. And it'd be some of the best art I've ever seen in my life. Look, I'm doing better than them. They catch it if I be scotty when I cough and I'm trying to get higher than them. Get 
high in the sky, boss, I can see it High spot in this plush, stop in this beat Boom, drop, boom, Gucci sauce, gotta drip it I spy with my little eye That's so cool So we came to Canal Street And I got some jewelry, I'ma show y'all what I got in a little bit Ooh, how much are your sunglasses? Oh, they're very small. Oh, okay, let's see. This is cute. Oh, yeah, those are, yeah. Hello, sorry. <laughs> How are you? Okay. <laughs> See, like, this is the stuff I was expecting to find at the vintage store. Stuff like this. Guys, so we're back in. We're back in. Wait, what side is this on? This is upside down. Hold on. Is this the right way? We're back in Manhattan and we're gonna go the other way. They don't got a big ass sign somewhere. Oh, we're back in Manhattan and we're going to MoMA. Um, they have free entry starting at 4 p.m. So we're headed over there right now. And yeah, this is like our last thing we're about to do. And then we're gonna go get our bags from the rest from the hotel. Her hat is cute. <laughs> we're gonna go get our bags from the hotel and then we're gonna go to meet up with my friend from college, Myra. Then we're gonna get on the bus and go back home. New York is beautiful, but I high key miss my apartment in my bed. How much are those? It's a statement piece. I have no idea because like, they're not anywhere. Oh. oh, wait, they're here at the bottom. Forty. Honestly, not bad. they have mini ones. Pocket ones for fifteen. What would you put in there? A shot. Alcohol. <laughs> it's the only thing that. Right. Oh my God. A jewelry box? Yeah, but it's fifty-three. So That's not even bad. No, the one that I saw in Nordstrom was similar to this. Six hundred dollars. Of course. Oh, look, they even have. Ooh. This one is really cute. How much is that? Oh my god. What does that say? 32. Oh. For my rings. These are cute. Are those plates? Tiles.
It grabs it? It grabs it. That's cute. It like dispenses it and it grabs it. It's, I love stuff like that. I've seen mm -hmm. these. I wanted to buy one of these. Reversible lid eyes. Because pack. my mom's fridge is so you fill this up and then you put it in here and then it, you know, keeps the ice and then Oh you, know, you can like, just fill it up. Yeah. Oh that's nice. nice. It's a face? Yeah, it looks like a bag. Oh. Big vase. That's a vase, guys, even though it looks like a bag. I wonder what these candles are. Meloria ball candles? Ooh, these candles are cute. Wow. That is remarkable. And then it melts on the side. And then you fill it up, and it's like... Oh. Hi, <laughs> Bog. Oh, say it again. Say it again. Oh. Okay, Y'all, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here with my big sis from college, Myra. Hi, hi, I haven't mom. seen you in how long? Since I graduated. Oh my God. So 2016. Damn, show my age. I look good for it though. I mean, I graduated home. in 2017. Yeah, but you could never. Y'all that is younger than me, look older than me. Period. Period. She 30, so I can go. Oh, I know. <laughs> She rushed me. 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 Oh, little mama, I forgot about that. I did five minutes school, but that video didn't come out yet. Okay. I did a commercial. Ooh. She did. She I did. I did a top commercial. I did. Uh, that one was really cool, too. Um, uh, Ajane, she's uh, her yeah, backup singer. Oh, no, 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 work up, work up. I did her, uh, her as backup singer. I, I did her video. Yeah. Yo, she be dancing out here. I'm not even kidding. She be out here. Um, that's what I said. I did some choreographers. Now I'm trying to be an actress. She be out here getting, getting discovered like Angus, Angus Cloud. Yeah, I need, mean, yeah, I mean, where he work, where he used to work at? I don't know this place in what Brooklyn. Was that, yo? I this girl to posted this TikTok. I seen she was twerking on him. I need to, uh, the bill is so expensive. I'm crying. Oh, lady. Yeah. I haven't seen her in like uh, since 2016. That's crazy. That still look the same? Yeah, hell yeah. Really? Literally no change. <laughs> 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 Nothing's different. I didn't get or anything? No. I want it to be fat. <laughs> you always big, mom. Nah, baby, I'm skinny now. Ass fat. I've been doing drugs. Don't tell them that. This weed is, weed is legal now. But I gave, oh, it up. Yeah. I gave it up for Lent. I'm not Catholic, so. <laughs> <laughs> My friends wanted to give up liquor. Liquor. <laughs> I just put liquor in a hairbrush last I mean, night. Like, I'd rather give up men than liquor. Say that. I completely, I completely <laughs> agree with that fucking statement. I'm trying to tell I'm you. So there was a gap between the time that we left Myra and the time that we got on the bus. And this was the most stressful time period of the entire month for me. So basically, after we pay the bill, it's time to get an Uber to the bus stop. Because I told you guys at the beginning of the vlog, we took a mega bus. So I call an Uber. The Uber's like six minutes away. And it takes five minutes to drive there. But at this point, we only have about like eight to ten minutes to get there so it was cutting it kind of close we're not from new york in dc they will pull off on your ass they will pull off 
it'll pull off apparently in new york they sit there and wait a few minutes which is nice but in dc for the most part i mean you probably could catch a bus driver running one to two minutes late but for the most part i wouldn't bank on that in dc i just that's me i wouldn't bank on it and literally gabby so we're sitting there gabby runs out the door because at this point the uber's taking too long my friend myra had ca called a lift and the lift like lift is a scam if you ever ride with Lyft, if they say a car is two to three minutes out, just know that time is going to double the minute you say you accept that ride. So literally, the time doubled. They said somebody was like three minutes away and went up to six minutes, just like the Uber. So Gabby bolts out the door. I run after her because she ain't going to leave me. And Myra's sitting there looking at the app, I guess, trying to figure out if the guy is actually like as far away as it says he is or whatever. So it's about a five minute drive. So we just need to get a cab. And it's literally a straight shot up the road that we were on. We just needed to get a cab. So we're running. Gabby tries to get a cab. We can't get one. We end up in the middle of the main road trying to get a cab. Can't get one because everyone's full. Like literally it's a Friday night. There was some sort of hockey game or something. So it just was lit out there. And low key was Times Square. It was lit. So then... um we ended up hijacking this guy's uber so we see this guy about to hop into uber and gabby says something to him she cash ups him some money and we just hop in so we get in and he takes us to our bus stop it we're like two minutes late the bus leaves at seven we didn't pull up to like 702 at this point i'm sweating because i'm like girl we're gonna have to book another ticket for this next bus like this is stressing me out so I tell her to hop out and go stop the bus because they look like they're about to pull off. I grab the bags and literally run, sprint across the street. Everybody on the bus see me running for my life across the freaking street. We get settled on the bus. And then when we finally pull off, these two girls stop the bus at the light to try to get on the bus. And this girl behind me was like, not them running for the bus and missing it. And something about that just tickled me because it just reminded me how I literally was sprinting across the street with these two bags, looking like a crazy person trying to get on this bus. And I just started dying laughing. Like, I was cackling. And then the guy beside me was like, I don't know why you laughing because I could have been you. I that's, that's, that sent me. Like, him, the commentary sent me. I was crying on that bus. Like, it was the funniest thing ever. Yeah, so that's what happened and it was crazy like it was really crazy but we made it home so that's all that matters <laughs>